Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you uh, my leather, I, I wanted to say uh, small journal, but <laughs> it went kind of thick through the process of decorating and editing some ephemeras. Uh, so I'm gonna say my uh, leather journal. Uh, I created this journal using Tim Holtz papers and uh, I really did enjoy it because, you know, I do love Tim Holtz stuff. He always has amazing stuff, uh, no matter what we are talking about, if it's dice or papers or, um, I don't know, stamps, anything what he makes. It's always so gorgeous. So inside I used Tim Holtz papers and uh, that way I wanted to decorate also the cover for this journal. I made uh, this stitching on the spine and I also created small charms for for this journal and it's all kind of like handmade <laughs> all these small charms and this is back cover and it, it does have leather cover this one <clears throat> and it does have so many openings so as I said, I used those uh, Tim Holtz papers. I don't remember the name of this uh, of this collection. I think it's probably something like communication or is it? I will have to have a look. If I will find the pictures somewhere, I will add it uh, add the name of that collection which I used inside the description box so we do have so many openings i do have in this journal my handmade paper clips quite a lot of them and i do have there a few pictures from all all, all over the all all the world <laughs> sorry i do have here a small note um note folders or note cards they can be stuck over the edge this way so you can see that when you close the book you can see uh, those edges and they are stuck in there you can open it this way so you have a writing space here writing space here and also writing space here inside so that I've got here then we have another pocket from this side and I do have there these beautiful uh, vintage postcards in those side pockets I've got small pocket here with this gorgeous uh, card uh, not card, a uh, picture and inside of this pocket I've got just a small note note card and it this this one it's flap up here I do have small pocket with my decorated pocket <laughs> with my decorated envelope there is pocket from this side maybe for some small notes and this can be open here is space maybe for pictures or for writing and there is one large pocket here <coughs> and pages for writing and journaling again small pictures some quote uh, <coughs> index card and we have this beautiful tag for uh, journaling and maybe here some picture with small pocket here again a note card and a mini journal and it's pocket mini journal so you can add there some tags and it does look this way <coughs> pardon me I should drink a water I think before I took <laughs> start to, to take a video so again this kind of like slide card or uh, tuck card <laughs> because I'm tucking it here <laughs> so that's here and then in that uh, other pocket I've got this index card with small note card and it's kind of repeating that process that we have two large pockets from the side we do have one pocket here with small note card and as you can see those Tim Holtz papers are just stunning and opening here with this beautiful map and again a large pocket here and again writing pages with a picture and my handmade paper clip so this can be open again a beautiful I love those papers beautiful uh, papers <laughs> beautiful map vintage postcard and this one it's from uh, from Paris 
this is uh, this one so beautiful postcard <coughs> in the opposite <laughs> pocket uh, mumbling we do have this small small mini folder i forgot how to open it so this small mini folder with this uh, peeking through window and you can close it by sliding the card behind that number that's in this pocket here and we do have there a small ledger paper and again decorated pocket here pocket from this side again it can be open and these beautiful how you call these um blueprints yeah blueprints and large pocket from the top and we here we have kind of like opening so some goodies can be added to this envelope and then closed behind like this and it's holding with that paper clip and again journaling pages small picture this can be open small tag and here we have this is my hand stamp this i i did stamp this one <laughs> i was so surprised that i'm stamping i'm not too good with stamping i do have too ha too heavy hand and always when i'm stamping i make smushes all around so i was quite surprised that oh i'm, I'm stamping look at me <laughs> so this is my handmade stamped or yeah handmade stamped uh, mini mini envelope and again note card and this tuck card here <laughs> i'm gonna call that this way and in that uh, other pocket uh, i don't have anything in that other pocket i've got just that tuck card here here i do have this beautiful picture note card when you flip it up you've got this opening here and again a large pocket from the top so it's a repeating process for easy navigation and I just love all these beautiful papers. They are so stunning. Here we have again a pocket journal for writing. You've got... Oh, I think I placed it upside down. You've got pocket here. And you've got pocket from here. And you've got pocket from here. Look at me. How beautifully I made it. That's kind of like magic. <laughs> so that's this teeny mini small journal in that pocket here we've got index card with note card from in that opposite or next pocket and again flip up decorated mini envelope here pocket from here when you open it you've got this beautiful map i just love those papers and the large pocket from here and my uh, rusted paper clip. I did rust this one with uh, the, that weathering powder. The glue weathering powder and it just made beautiful rust effect. Rusty effect. Weathering powder which is using uh, in model making. You know when you are making uh, trains or planes. Those small models. So those people are using... Uh, amazing stuff they are using weathering powders for decorating their their models and that weathering powder is from my view the most easy way how you can add the rusty effect to your projects so that's my i'm gonna call this one i guess travel journal because of those papers and because of these uh postcards and those images so we've got tag note uh, note paper we've got this beautiful picture again flip up opening here and there is large pocket here and we have tag here and pages for writing and we have pocket here with this gorgeous postcard and and again tag note card <laughs> It's probably not tuck note card, but it's tucking on that edge. Oops, go there. And in that opposite pocket, I've got again index card. 
and decorated pocket here with small pocket from this side so maybe four tickets this op opening envelope here with small tag and again there is that large pocket from here so there is lots of space for saving your ephemeras lots of space for saving tags tickets you know any kind of memorabilia uh, writing pages and writing space maybe or maybe space for pictures again beautiful postcard and index card with note card so this is my creation using tim holtz papers and i will have to have a look of the name of this collection because i really don't remember here i do have this string envelope so you've got another pocket here and when you open it that up and here to that side we've got these gorgeous papers and again pocket from from the top all the way down there and small tag journaling pages and i think i lost oh no it's here aha uh -huh. it's here hmm just fell down my rusty paper clip just stay there what's wrong with you No, because it's rusty, it doesn't think it can work. <laughs> and this is last page from my journal. And I've got pocket here as well. So I've got there another, that tuck card. And again, my stamping. I'm so proud of myself that here are no smushies. <laughs> so this is my journal I created using Tim Holtz papers. I love these papers. I just don't remember the name. These are uh, also from that paper collection. There was a sheet with all those uh, signs like fragile. Um, what was that? This airmail and uh, yeah, all that stuff. So that, that is from those papers as well. I will have a look on the name. And if I will find the name, I will put the name of that collection uh, in the description box below. So this is my journal using Tim Holtz papers. Uh, it's made from leather. I am not sure when this video will go uh, to the YouTube. So maybe it's still on my on my Etsy. Uh, if is it still on my Etsy link will be down below. If is it not that there will be no link at all. I will see. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope you found some inspiration and uh, I hope you had a good time. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.